everyone, and welcome to the stream. I'm Robin at Andrew Jack with LC, and we're playing some more Gosh Darn Silent Hill 1 for the PlayStation. Uh, so, last time, we pretty much completed all the way up through the beginning of the game to Alcamilla Hospital, which is not an insignificant chunk of the game, if I recall correctly. Um... And, uh, yeah. It's time to get right back into it. Okay, is my audio working? Hold on. It's not. Let's go ahead and... There we go. Yes. Okay. I had so many silly little technical issues going on here. Um, but it's all good now. So hi Malik, hi Lark, hi Crow. It's watching the VOD of the last Silent Hill stream, available for free for the next six days in the video tab. So much love Harry notating the map. I can't help but notice the labels door jammed in VCR and not that room where a skinless dude was bit roasted on a barbed wire or that room where a digestive tube with feet cooked a lady. Yeah, you know, it's priorities. Like, he only needs like very specific information for him to understand the world around him. Okay. So we cleared not a lot of the hospital. We uh, got to visit the first floor and went up the elevator all the way up to the hidden fourth floor, which we cannot access on our map. Oh, we've got... We're just going to walk right by this lady because we don't need to worry about her. Whatever we need to worry about isn't that. So hopefully everybody's doing well tonight. Uh, I'm going to start by uh, heading into the storage room and the storeroom. And turning up my god dang headphones. Because this is where a lot of good spooky sounds are. Lock is jammed. Oh, but look. We got some blood. Why do we need blood? Don't worry about it. We also got a first aid kit, which is really handy. So, the basic story so far. That Harry Mason was trying to take him and his daughter Cheryl to a nice little resort for vacation. Heard about this place called Silent Hill. It was great. And so, uh, in the attempt to... Uh, in the attempts to have a nice vacation, they, uh, crashed. And things haven't worked out very well since. We have met... Oh, oh, shoot. Hey, rude. Okay, well, y'all already know I'm here, so, um, screw all this. Oh, yeah, and the floors are kind of... <laughs> gone. That's okay, though. Oh, they are scooty. Hi, Judge. Okay, I'm going to have to check my health before we head back out here in a second. Oh, hey, there's a plate. We've actually picked up one plate already. Plate of cat. Cat plate. Hell yeah. All right, how's our health doing? It's okay. So we've made it 306. Uh, we should check out 307 and then hit up the elevator because, oh boy, we could go to the girls' restroom, but I think we're good. We don't need to worry about what's in there. Lock is jammed. Door can't be opened. Unlocked. There we go. <gasps> the raid redemption. <laughs> All right, so. Where do we want to go? We're in the other world, and honestly, it's better to start at the first level. Things haven't been good since 2002, but we're surviving. I mean, oh boy. For some of us, it goes back further, but 
Surviving is good. I like surviving. And my cat is screaming at me. Hi, Sam. You want to come in and join the show? Hello, oldest baby. Come here. Almost. You're very slow. Physically. Yeah. Safe here. Here's a scary game. You want to watch? No? Just want to sleep? Okay. Cool. Hey, cat. <laughs> fourth floor is gone again. Don't worry about it. There was never a fourth floor. Okay, so we've got more stuff to examine. Get away from me. Oh, wait. We don't want to go downstairs this way. Okay. Oh, and hey, another plate. Back in the... I don't like the sound of that. Back in the director's office. <laughs> where do we park it, bro? Dude, where's your fourth floor? Dude. Bro. So I want to hit up as much of this floor as I can before we uh, move on. But it is going to involve a lot of risk. Ah, shoot. Come at me, bro. Ow. Hold on. Okay, we're fine. Come on. Oh, we knocked him just far enough away that he can't hit us. And now the sound is gone. Excellent. Okay. So thankfully we won't have to like, on our additional playthroughs, we won't have to like do too much with um, a lot of these optional areas. But because we like video games and we're very good at them, we are going to explore a fair amount just for the hell of it. Got some handgun bullets. Zombie doctor. Ah, nothing. Oh, don't you start that. Bro moment. I lost the entire fourth floor of my hospital. I hope there weren't any sick people up there. Also, I'd be the doctor to death with the pipe in a dirty kitchen. And I'm sure the police are very cool about it. Let's see. Actually, I want to get into the medicine room, so we're going to... Ah, crap. Love a metal pipe. It's okay. We got plenty of healing items. Okay, you stop that. God, it takes so much health off of us. Whatever. We're good. We're alive. And that's what matters. I love that the horror games really do just hit the ground running and we can't really talk too much about anything while we're here. Sound is heard from beyond the door. Interesting. Well, we can potentially... check out a little more if we want. Because I know our objective now is to... Well... Head up to the third floor. Let's see. We can get into the examination room and the office pretty easily. No, we can't. Goodbye. We're done. We're just gonna scoot past everybody. Oh, hidden health drink. Neat. 
<laughs> just go to a vending machine. It's like, oh, yep, there we go. Okay. Now, I need to get downstairs because we've explored everything we can here. So we need to get to... We need to go straight, turn right, go through the doors, and then go through the doors immediately ahead of that, and then hit the downward staircase. So... Once again, straight, to the right, straight, down the stairs. Like a sound of, oh, it's the ice cube tru truck this rules, or that sounds like some kind of skinless ter pteranodon man who wants to tear my nipples out. It could be both. Okay, so we are going to scale the entire uh, western wall. Are we in? No, we're in the nurse's center. We don't really want to be in here. But, ooh, there's a thing. What does this say? Clouds flowing over a hill. Sky on a sunny day. Tangerines that are bitter. Lucky four-leaf clover. Violets in the garden. Dandelions along a path. Unavoidable sleeping time. Liquid flowing from a slashed wrist. Well. That was written by somebody who has their shit together. Okay, four square indentations on the door. And I bet you the poem correlates to what we're reading right there. Okay. So if we want to scale the western wall, we need to go straight ahead and a little left. There we go. Yes! Oh, that works. Oh, and now we are having a problem. Yes! Okay, that was done surprisingly easily. And now she's down. So we're not going to worry about her anymore. <gasps> a lighter! A little Zippo. <laughs> These Inktober prompts keep getting weirder. <laughs> Hate finding a paper with AI art prompts lying around the dark hospital. God, that debate just keeps going, huh? We're even getting into, like, some very funny debates about, like, the nature. Oh, hi. It's snakes. It's all sorts of snakes. Come on. You know what? I think I got a better idea. We're going to take a page out of our Resident Evil book and feed the monster instead of trying to kill it. And we got our... Wait, is this... Let's check our inventory, because I believe, yes, we have all four plates now. So we can now go to the nurse's station, which should be the only door that shows up, or the first and only door that shows up on our left. Okay, now, let's solve a puzzle. I don't actually remember the um, order that needs, this needs to go in, but we've got... Eight squares. Four squares have already been filled with tiles. White, red, purple, and black in a clockwise order. We naturally have a poem. Um, 
of a sort that is uh, our hint for how this goes. So let's jot down our colors real quick. Um, we're kind of going to solve this one together. Um, let's go ahead and call the white one one for now. Two is blank. Three is orange. Let's call it orange for now. Blank. Five is purple. Six is blank. Seven is black. And eight is blank. You know what? Fuck you. Bloods your snakes. Now we have four colors on us. The queen. A red plate. So I'm glad I didn't write the other one as red. But orange instead. We have the plate of hatter, which is green. We have the plate of turtle, which is blue. And the plate of cat, which is yellow. Now, let's take a look at what this poem has to say. And this one should be fairly simple. We have all the information. Oop. I'm going to start it on the first one. Clouds flowing over a hill. So that feels like white, right? Yeah. Um, so then we have sky on a sunny day, which could be blue or yellow, depending. Tangerines that are bitter, that's orange. So I think our northeastern um, plate could be yellow. So I'm going to go ahead and mark it in as yellow. At the very least, either blue or yellow go into the northeastern slot. Lucky four-leaf clover, that's green. Violets in the garden, that's purple. And it looks like the clockwise motion is what we're looking for. Okay, so dandelions along a path, that's... That's definitely yellow, so that yellow or blue in the northeastern slot, that is absolutely a blue. Unavoidable sleeping time, that one's kind of weird. Um... But it could be death, so black, so that would make sense. And then liquid flowing from a slashed wrist, which are which would be in the northwest, and that one seems pretty obvious for red. So let's take a look at that. Let's see how well it lines up. Square indentations on the door. Okay, so we are going to we start with white and then we move to blue. Someone tell Silent Hill that their beat poetry fucking sucks. <laughs> yeah, it might suck, but somebody in the audience is just going to immediately get up and like, oh my god, and like go to unlock a door that they have had locked in their house for like five months because somebody put a weird fucking plate puzzle. <laughs> okay, so far we're doing good. So now let's take the yellow, and we're going to put it where we slotted the dandelions, followed immediately by an unavoidable sleep. <laughs> and then we're going to stick the red here. And if we're right, the door will unlock. Yep. Oh god. Okay. Before you attack me, I just want to take a moment, make sure I know where the hell I'm going. Finally, we can get in to use the nurse's coffee machine. <laughs> ah, dang. Okay, I actually don't want to fight you right now. I don't want to fight you either. I don't want to fight either of you. Oh my god. Okay. We're going to take some extreme measures. There we go. Oh, crap. Okay. I 
really don't want to use any more ammo than is strictly necessary. So I'm going to switch back to my iron pipe, which is not doing a hell of a lot of damage. Um, we're going to take a preventative heal here. A basement storeroom key. Well, isn't that swell? Okay, doesn't seem to be anything else here, and that nurse is just a dunion rings. Uh, we still have the ICU and two more regular rooms. I'm not going to bother with the bathrooms unless I absolutely need to. Oh, crap. Get away from me. There's not going to be another nurse here, is there? Nope, we killed her. We're good. Right, we need to go to the right, but maybe we can go around this nurse. Yes! Oh, great. Ah, crap. Okay. In which case, we're going to grab some disinfecting alcohol. And I don't really want to find out what else is in here. These guys are jerks. Oh, God. Nope, nope, nope. Oh, no. If you could just scoot for me, thank you. Oh. oh, first aid kit. Neat. Okay, now. Can we get into the elevator? It's unlocked. Hell yes. Looks like the only floor we haven't really gone to is the basement, so we're going to go there. <laughs> Shut up, basement demons. I'm trying to read a map. <laughs> Ah, crap. Okay, so we've got the storeroom, we've got the morgue, the generator room, and the boiler room. I don't remember where it is we are supposed to go, but we are going to start with the morgue. Which is like the last place you really want to be. Oh, God. Oh, but there is a healing item. So, that's actually good. We got in there without getting hurt. Which is the ideal, honestly. So, let's head to the right. Oh, no. Get away from... Oh, come on. Come on. Oh, controls. You fucked me. Okay, there we go. Oh, sweet silence. Finally, Silent Hill is living up to its name for a second. Don't mind all the clanging. I know what I saw. Shotgun shells. Nothing inside. Oh, but I do see scrapies. Skid marks from the cabinet being moved. Well, obviously, it's time to move it. Yes, move the cabinet. Ooh. What's this? Looks like a hallway under the grate. Can't move it since the vines have grown around it. Well, we have picked up some materials here. Where are they? Disaffected alcohol. Pour the alcohol on the vines. Oh, I'd love to start a fire. I'm just imagining he's putting his hands up to kind of warm his hands a little bit. Because everything's so cold and terrible. Okay. So, we don't have a map for this place. Also, this is an important place. So it's going to be a little interesting. 
Ooh. I hate this area. It's not actually bad. It's just kind of rough. So we are going to just keep walking. <laughs> Love starting fires in Silent Hill, a place that has never had any bad experiences with fire. Not even a little bit. Oh, wow. Well, that's a lot of baddies. What's this? Looks like someone's been here. Alessa. We've seen this girl. We've seen a, a, a vague silhouette of her uh, after dealing with the elementary school. Alessa. There's an examination room key. So it looks like this might have been a place for someone named Alessa. Okay, I gotta prepare myself for this next bit because there's a lot of nurses and I hate it. <gasps> okay, I don't actually want to deal with that yet. I want to explore this area a little more. Ah, crap. More baddies. I don't like baddies. Get away from me. Get away from... Oh, ow. Ma'am? There is a cool tape on the counter. I want it. Thank you. Okay, now we technically have everything we need. Oh, and I went the wrong way. Let's see what else we can find. Lock is jammed. Okay. Okay, I actually really love the way the camera angles work here and how well the tank controls actually fit what we're trying to do. Whew. Okay. We're alive. Let's see if we can get the heck out of here. Um, I'm gonna get back up to the first floor. How's our health? Probably liked it back here in the weird bloody puke room covered in death. <laughs> there is a copy of Terminator 2 Judgment Day on videotape. Pick it up. It's probably fine. Once again, deadly nurses. Right, let's go to the first floor. Hopefully we won't be spat out right in front of a nurse. We are spat out right in front of a nurse. Shit. Okay. So I believe we may have a way to get to the examination room, which means hauling ass all the way. Oh wait, that wasn't right. We need to turn around, don't we? Yep, we need to turn around. Hi, doctor. You're looking great. Peak physical form. And so is the little friend on your back. Use the examination room key. So we uh, we heard some sounds on the other side of this door. Really enjoy how anticlimactic Silent Hill 1 can be at times. You can trawl through a building to enter one room and the room will have some tiny thing with no music. Or be just two ladders in a hallway. Yeah. I genuinely love that there are empty spaces all throughout this game. There are tons of locked and jammed doors. There are plenty of rooms that have nothing in them. You just get to kind of enjoy the vibe.
she's just so happy to see us. Finally, someone else who's okay. But I don't know you? about that. My name's Lisa Garland. What's yours? Harry Mason. Harry, tell me what's happening here. Where is everybody? I must have gotten knocked out. When I came to, everyone was gone. It's awful. So you don't know anything either. Great. I just don't get it. It's like this is all some kind of bad dream. Yeah, a living nightmare. Let me ask you, have you seen a little girl around here? Short, hey, black hair, seven years old? A seven-year-old girl. What, she's your daughter? Yes. A seven-year-old girl. I can't say that I have. I was unconscious all this time. <laughs> I'm sorry. Hi, Debbie. Have you seen a little girl? Ah, <sighs> that's all right. Do you know anything about all that weird stuff in the basement? No. Why? Is there something down there? You don't know? Don't you work here? We're under strict orders never to enter the basement storeroom. So I really don't know. What did you say was down there? Well, it's... <clears throat> Damn! My head! Oh, the sirens. Oh. Harry? Harry, let me help you. Harry? So don't worry, Mom, you haven't missed much. This is literally the first story sequence we've seen. Was I dreaming? Outside of one little thing from earlier. You were too late. It's you. Dahlia Gillespie. Yes, Dahlia Gillespie. Gesundheit. Tell me everything you know. What's going on? Darkness. Imprisoning me? All that I see? The town is being devoured by darkness. Strength must overcome petty desire, childish sleep talk. I knew this day would come. What are you talking about? I don't understand a word of this. Believe the evidence of your eyes. The other church in this town, that is your destination. This is beyond my abilities. Only you can stop it now. Cool. Have you not seen the crest marked on the ground all over town? So that's what I saw in the schoolyard. What does it mean? It is the mark of Samael. Don't let it be completed. Hey, wait! Thank you for the sub, Aleph. Um, and yeah, so here's a quick summary of what's happened so far. Um, we've... Since we started playing today, we found a sub-basement in the other Alcamilla Hospital. Of course, the other Silent Hill is the one that looks all rusty and bloody and stuff, and is the one that's especially dangerous. And we found a room in the sub-basement that kind of looks like a sanitarium, where uh, there was a photo of a woman named Alessa sitting next to a single bed in the middle of a padded room and a, um, a diagnosis machine next to her. This photo was very similar to the woman we saw at the end of the elementary school sequence after beating the boss. The woman who just kind of looked towards the camera and walked away. She was in black with a white collar. Very vintage. Um, 
We were doing all that so that we could find a key to the examination room where we uh, heard a sound. We didn't know what it was, so we went down to the sub basement to get the key, came back, and we met Lisa Garland, who... Honestly, sir, I'm on hour 30 of a 40-hour nursing shift, and last time I was working this long, I started seeing Dancing Woodchucks in the pediatric wing. This is pretty standard. <laughs> so she's also having a real one. But now that we're done here, we can probably... Let's see which direction we need to go. Yeah, we can just head straight forward, and we can even save. right over here. We are done with the hospital. This is kind of one of the nastier areas up until um, I think the last area in the game. So it is my hope that things will be a little bit smooth sailing for a tiny while. Let's see. Oh, 480p or less. Can't quite make out the details, but uh, what we need to do, what we eventually need to do, now that we're done with the Alcamilla Hospital, is that we need to head up to the north of town. I think past the town center. So we're going to all ass. Whee! Bye, Doug. If I were another church, where would I be? Oh, we're not going to worry about churches for a little bit. So I'm going to head to Simmons Street, if I can, if it isn't blocked off. And then, take a hard left. Whoa, monkey man! It's a good cycle! Like, they did... Considering how low poly this game is, they did a really good job. By the way, I wanted to let every... I wanted to remind everyone, uh, since Aleph has recently re-upped his subscription, um, that we are working towards two goals. 35 sub points... Uh, for the next stage of emotes and 40 points by the end of October or at least by the end of our last run of Silent Hill 3 for Silent Hill 4. And that game is interesting. It's beefy. It is intense. And uh, oh, wow, that antique store is just busted open. So let's go on in. Now, Silent Hill 4 is not technically a Silent Hill, but it is a good one, uh, and also a very frustrating one. It, I think, establishes some of the creepiest vibes of any Silent Hill I've ever played. And it is also one of the most annoying games in the franchise. It's great. Ooh, there's a cabinet. Yes, I do want to push the cabinet. Hey, there's a hole here. What's this? Harry! Sybil? Oh, I'm glad you're okay. I shouldn't have left you. Things are worse than I thought. It's nuts. What are you doing here? I thought you left town. I saw you go in here, so I followed you. I couldn't get out. All the roads out of town are blocked. Cars have completely stopped running. 
phones and radios are still out too. What about my daughter? Did you see her? I did see a girl. Was it Cheryl? I only caught a glimpse of her through the fog. I went after her, but she vanished. I don't know about your daughter, but... And you just let her go? Where was it? On Bachman Road. She was heading towards the lake. Now don't get excited. It wasn't like she ran off exactly. There was no place for her to go. The road has been obliterated. What? So then Cheryl... It was like she was walking on thin air. What about you? Anything? Yeah, I met this bizarre woman. Her name's Dahlia Gillespie. Do you know her? Dahlia Gillespie? No. And? She said something about the town being devoured by darkness. Gibberish like that. Any idea what it means? Darkness devouring the town? Must be on drugs. <laughs> they sell them to the tourists. The force still can't figure out who's behind it. Who's they? None of our leads have panned out. And the investigation is stalled. What could drug trafficking have to do with all this? really don't know. But maybe that's the darkness she was talking about. That's all I can think of. Hmm. I mean, I'm pretty sure there are What's other this? sources of darkness going on around Just discovered here. It. Maybe there's something back there. Let's have a look. Wait. We don't know what's back there. I'd better check it out first. I'm a cop. I should go. No, I'm going. All right. I'll cover you from here. Be careful. If anything looks fishy, get back here on the double. Okay. Sybil? Do you know anything about, well, like some other world? It's like some kind of bad dream. What are you talking about? I'm not quite sure. I try to make sense of it, but then my mind goes blank. Everything's dark there, and I hear sirens in the distance. I met this nurse, Lisa. It's like I was there, but not really. It's all a blur, like some kind of hallucination, you know? I have no idea what you're talking about, Harry. Oh. I was just wondering. Never mind. <laughs> that line delivery. Harry, you're tired. Yeah, maybe. So, yeah, to follow up on some of the chat, uh, I think that's a beautiful world somewhere where instead of getting railroaded into identifiable brand names, devs are allowed to experiment and do new things, and all they need to do is put from the devs of old thing in the cover. Yeah, that was... Um, I mean, a lot of the media that I really enjoy tends to be from people who kind of get a little bit carte blanche to make whatever they want. To a certain extent. The, the kinds of people who get that are also some of the biggest bastards in the industry. But some of them are really good. So it's like, you kind of have to watch out. But yeah, when it comes to like Silent Hill 
and the stuff that they were making, especially with Silent Hill 4, where it wasn't really a Silent Hill. They just called it that. It's like really interesting. Like you can do some really cool stuff. You just let people experiment and try shit out like they were doing with this game. Oh, hey, an altar. What's this? Some kind of altar. That's what I just said. I've never seen anything like this before. Maybe this is the other church. Some kind of powder is left in the chalice. Let's see. Oh, hey! Check you out! Let me just scoot on over and equip the shit out of this axe, which we could have used quite a bit earlier. Hell yeah, love it. Is there anything else here that we need to worry about? I don't think so, unless we want to try and use the lighter on everything. What else can we find? Well, we're locked in. Oh, wait. What the? Oh, it's on fire. Well, who'd have thunk? Are you okay? Harry? Harry? Whoops. Harry fell into the other world. Lisa? That I'm in the hospital? You were having a bad dream. Was I? Hey, you don't look too good. Are you okay? I'm fine. Nothing Are you? you need to worry about. Well, if you're sure. Lisa, do you know a woman named Dahlia Gillespie? Oh yeah, that crazy Gillespie lady. She's kind of famous around here. She never sees anybody, so I don't know that much about her. But I heard her kid died in a fire, and supposedly she's been crazy ever since. Well, she says the town is being devoured by the darkness. Do you have any idea what she's talking about? The band from the early 2000s? Oh, yes. The they were sick. Yes, I think I do. Before this place was turned into a resort, the townspeople here were on the quiet side. Everybody followed some kind of queer religion. Weird occult stuff. Black magic, that kind of thing. Yes, I'm aware of the lesbian witches. As young people moved away, the people figured they'd been summoned by the gods. Evidently, things like that used to happen around here all the time. Before the resort, there really wasn't anything else out here. Everyone was so flipped out, you gotta blame it on something. Then a lot of new people came in, and everybody clammed up about it. A cult. Last time I heard anything about it was, gosh, years ago. When several people connected with developing the town died in accidents. People said it was a curse. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm rambling. I'll shut up.
So we've got cults, we've got drugs, we have a was crazy lady dream? who whose daughter was lost in a fire. I don't want to think so, but maybe this is all just going on in my head. Could have had a car accident, now I'm lying unconscious in a hospital bed. I don't know what's real anymore. Sybil said Cheryl was heading towards the lake. The road to the lake is blocked. Aren't there any other roads? Lisa would probably know. All right, so we're in a weird town. We have the uh, sigil of Samael just kind of sitting there. Okay, this is possibly going to be a little nasty. So I think we need to go to the town center. We've been to El Camilla. We don't really need to go back. We've gotten our information. Um, so I, I want to say there's an item in here that we're missing, but it looks like not. Since we're in the other world, this town's going to look a little different. Whee! So I love all of the grading. And the way they just kind of really got nuts with the aesthetic of this area. Okay, so this should be the town center. <gasps> Even the ground is chicken wire. Yeah, and to kind of comment on, like, the voice acting for this game. So, I want to talk... Ooh. <laughs> a fake virgin. Uh, virgin Megastore. <laughs> um, when Silent Hill 2 got remastered for the PS3 and 360, it, fa it infamously, like, screwed up a lot of things and changed out the voice acting. And the voice acting was technically better, but... There's something about the disaffected nature of Silent Hill voice acting that kind of needs to be there. Um, and so I really love the voice acting in this game, not because I think it's good, but because I think it establishes a vibe, a feeling that like is as much a part of its character as any of its occult nonsense. Like it's just, it's really good. Oh, hey, that looks like our daughter. Cheryl. Okay. It's kind of a freewheeling attitude to the voice acting, like the actors were allowed or even encouraged to just add their own little touches to the lines. Some of them took it, and others just delivered their lines. Yeah, and the disaffected nature of it just works. Like, I don't know how else to put it. It's just like... There is something distant, disaffected, and inhuman about the voice acting, and I don't say this as a criticism. It just lends itself to the surreal nature of the game. Like, they got some big-name voice actors for Silent Hill 2 at the time, um, who kind of infamously... One of them also kind of crapped on the original voice actors, which was not cool. Um, and, uh... Oh, gosh. Oh, 
We gotta go in there, don't we? Oh, I don't want to go over there. That seems scary. Okay. What else we got? <gasps> Ooh. Rifle shells. That means we are... We are what you said about Guy Sihi. That was not cool. <laughs> yeah. It was Troy Baker who, like, did the dunk. And, like, it's really disappointing because Troy Baker, incredible actor. Crappy person. And I hate saying that because I am a, I was a big fan of his early works. And I still technically am. Now it's just like, man, every time he opens his mouth in the real world, it's just like, I mm, wish he wouldn't. All right. So we got some rifle shells. We got a save point. Ah, uh, whew. Let's see what's going to happen here. Not except... Whoa! Okay. Let's go ahead and switch to the, uh... Scared emote. Yeah, it's very David Lynch. That's a good way of putting it. Oh, hey, a rifle! gonna grab this. Come on, give it to me. Let's go ahead and make use of the rifle now. Because this is not going to be a fun fight. Shai Hulun in the house. Oh. We're going to reload this way. Ooh, we're running low on health. I'm going to just rotate around. Oh, no, that didn't help us. We're gonna take our time, get one shot at a time, because, uh... I think we will end up missing if he starts going in. Into the ground, so... We'll get our one cheap shot. We'll keep an eye out for him. Okay, this is working. This is working really well, actually. Okay, we missed that opportunity, but that's okay. Hell yes! Oh man, that was great. Nope, we're not done! Okay. Yeah, we actually did okay there. It could have been a lot worse. Okay, where are we? Ooh, okay. So maybe it's time to head to the hospital. Oh, wow. We got windmills. Oh, and this music is getting good. We're going to have to check our map pretty frequently because this is a very nasty place to navigate. It's only going to get worse as we go. We'll 
Will this? No, this will not get us where we need to go. Shoot. Okay, where are we? Okay, let's go to Sagan Street. And hope for the best. I love the use of the camera in the overworld. It's like genuinely the best kind of dynamic. You still get to see what the hell you need to see. And it makes encounters with enemies all the more stressful. Okay, so now we need to get to Crichton Street since this street is blocked off. You know, I actually would say if David Lynch was ever like, yeah, I would like to make a Silent Hill movie. I think he should. I was a little bit more George Lucas than David Lynch, but it's kind of in the same ballpark. David Lynch is just hard of hearing George Lucas in terms of vocal intonation and I like that oh god stop running after me okay are we good Whew. okay our health is a little bit low so we're gonna soup up a little bit I'm gonna switch to the axe for the time being <laughs> you know if George Lucas wants to make a horror movie I think he should I don't think I'd watch it, but I think it should. <laughs> okay, so if we want to get to Lisa, we need to head through the examination room. Or head to the examination room, actually. Just right here. There you are. Glad you're okay. Thank God you came back. I was scared to be here all alone. I'm here now. I was worried too. I'm real happy to see you. Lisa, can you tell me how to get to the lake? The lake? You take Bachman Road. The road's blocked. Well, that's the only way out there. Are you sure? There's gotta be another way. Wait, I just remembered something. There's a waterworks over by my old elementary school. It's been abandoned for years. There's an underground tunnel out there used for inspections or something. I remember <laughs> hearing it runs all the way to the lake. Hi, Ellie. Really? Yeah, it's a good, it's you some good I delivery. Get to the lake from there. I've never been down in there myself, so I'm not positive. Besides, it's all fenced off to keep people out. If there's a chance, I've got to try. Harry, don't go! I don't want to be alone. It's so scary, I can't stand it. Harry's a cute nurse lady. Me. Just begging you to this stay. This may not be the safest place in the world, either. I can't promise you anything, but I'll do my best to protect you. No, somehow I feel I'm not supposed to leave this place. Oh, Harry, I'm so scared. I'm cold. Look, just wait here a little longer. I'll be back as soon as I find my daughter. Harry? You're not doing so hot, are you? Okay. Is there a save point? Yes! Okay. My sister kept sneaking down there to get high. I always wanted to go along, but she said I'd cramp her style. <laughs> Want me to start a fire? I'm really good at those. <laughs> okay. We're moving. 
Whoa. Well, it looks like everything is blocked off. So let's see where we can go. Looks like we can go up. Will it lead us to where we need to go? I have no idea. Good thing we saved. Oh, hey, Mothra. So, uh, the bug came back. Okay, we ha we should have enough bullets for this. We're once again just going to wait for him to attack. Get a shot in. Go. Rude. I mean, I guess. Oh, ah, crap. Okay, our rhythm is off. Ow. Okay, we're not. This thing is definitely doing some damage to us. Come on, come on. Try to hit me. You missed me. Oh, hell yes. Did we actually pull that off? First time. And the sirens are going off. Oh, thank goodness. We just see its butt looming. <laughs> Alright, let's take a look around to see if there's anything valuable. I don't think there is. Nope, we're good. Hot damn. Ah, uh, it's a good time. Da 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 da. Da, 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 da. All right, it looks like we're now kind of establishing that um, there are a lot of different qualifiers for what brings us into the other world. Sometimes there are some real bastard monsters that once we kill them, it shakes it off. But other times, it seems like Harry's own mental state or the things he witnesses causes him to get pulled in. Oh, I bet this is the way we need to go. Let's go down. Nope, it's not, but we do have some handgun bullets, so that's cool. I think we need to cross the bridge entirely. God, we are making good time. We're only a little over an hour in today, and we have torn through a chunk of this game. This must be that waterworks Lisa was talking about. Hey. Hmm. The lock is worn out. I may be able to break it if I hit it hard. Well, I got the sacks. Ah, oh, dang, that didn't work. Come on. Okay, let's uh, get a good angle so we can actually see it being hit. Come on. There we go. <laughs> Honestly, it's a real shame Silent Hill is a massive psychic parasite which feeds on your crimes and insecurities because looking at the various amenities it's got, it looks like a really good vacation destination, right? Just a nice sleepy town. 
We can just vibe and chill. It's great. I feel like it's also worth mentioning that, uh, you know, Civil hasn't seen any of the things that Harry has seen. Nobody really seems to know what he's talking about half the time. Which I think is fun. Okay, the best part of any Silent Hill is the sewers. Ugh. Our health is pretty low. Sybil is too sexy for the other world. Don't hit that booty. It's a bastard booty. Oh god, Kappa's. Let's back up. Not actually Kappa's. More like Saladin's or something. I don't know. But whatever the case, we need them gone. Ooh. Hoofer. Oh, and they are not triggering our radio. That's kind of weird. Oh, and we are low on health. Thankfully, we have so many of those, and we have first aid kits like crazy. Okay. Don't think we have... Yeah, we don't have a map for this place. Oh, gosh. Um... <laughs> Uh, I think we need to turn here? Gosh. It's kind of taking a breather. Uh, this way, maybe? No, but there is some stuff. Including another give it health pickup. Oh, uh, do I have to kill you too? Yeah. No signal in the sewers, even the spooky signal. Okay, we're just gonna move his body all the way. Oh, that was really unlucky. It will eventually move. Just, ugh. I don't wanna kill you, but you keep trying to rip out my spleen. <laughs> I think I'm looking for something. Yeah, here we go. C2, don't want to head left or right. Well, that answers that. Hey, a door. Let's see. Oh, turn around. I don't like the sound of any of that. Oh, but I love the look of this. Let's check it out. There is a sewer map connecting to resort area. Take it? Yes. Absolutely. There is a sewer key. Take it? Yes. Cool. Okay. That's actually great. We have we have a save point. We're full on health. We've gotten some extra ammo and healing items. We've got a key. Uh, we are, like, genuinely very good. Okay. So now that we have a map, we can actually see where we need to go. Uh, there are a couple of ladders. I can't quite tell where we came from. Um, I don't think... Hmm. I don't think we came from the south. I think we came from the west. Um, let's see. Yeah, I think that makes sense because the uh, the first route was just like a long stretch of nothing. So we want to try and make our way south, which means maybe heading this way. Oh, nice. 
Yeah, this is actually working. Oh gosh. I don't like the sound of that. Okay, so let's see. Should be able to go around. Yes. Then C3. Oh gosh. Get away from me. Ooh. All right, I'm going to stand over here and lure them in. And run around. Hell yeah. Get away from me. Get away from me. Okay, is this going to head us towards the south? Yes ish. Oh, no. Get around, get around, get around. Okay, to the right is where we entered, and this is the way to. Yes! Use the sewer key! Remembering how for the Silent Hill movie they found 2006's world's butchiest actress and then dressed her in more leather. They they did pick somebody who looked genuinely kind of cute to play a cop, and that is a problem. Um, can't just do that. That's copaganda. It's like hiring Stephanie Beatriz to play Rosa in Brooklyn Nine-Nine. You can't just do that to people. Okay, what's, uh... Ooh, this is a little bit more complicated. So we have another ladder that we want to get to, and I'm assuming that the only goal is just getting to the other side. Um... Okay, I don't want to... There we go. Wait, did I... Ah. Oh, there's a guy coming. No, I don't like that. Don't like it, don't like it, don't like it. Oh, well, this is... Not where we want to go. <laughs> I am not immune to propaganda and leather pants. Resist! Big long stretch of hallway with a bunch of bugs. Okay, how are we doing on the map? Ooh, I saw a handgun bullet there. That's really handy. Um, oh, and a healing item. Hell yeah. Excellent. Okay. So now we're heading this way. I think. Whoop. Out. Love to run into a door. It's locked. Ah, oh, jeez. Okay. How do we get in there then? That's not it. Is there maybe ow? have a key? I don't think we do. I think this is just going to be a thing to solve. Out. Okay, let's take a look at a map. Remind me to make a story where there's a character who's a hot, hot cop lady in leather, and near the end she confesses she's not actually a cop, just role plays as one in her BDSM club. And she expects everyone to call her a liar, but the cast just goes, whew, what a relief. 
Wow. <laughs> Okay, so where else can we go then? Not too many places. Well, So wait, is there no doorway over here? There is one, okay. Yeah, Judge is the expert on this. Uh, he does not have that name lightly. That's great. There was a sewer exit key in the water. Take it? Yep. Oh, hi there. Oh, that's a lot of ya. Whee! Okay, so now we know how to get out. That's great. Now we're just gonna haul ass and get out of here. And I am sure it's gonna be smooth sailing from here. No one's gonna attack me. No one's gonna get to me. No one's gonna do anything. Oh god. I don't know what that was, but I'm not turning around to get it. Another Salagin. Yes. That's not really an SFW. That's some cleavage, but other than that. Like, we've played hornier stuff on here. We're good. <laughs> this is a mature-rated channel. As long as you're not posting, like, nudity. And extensive drug use. Harry in the sewers. Hydrated. Flourishing. In his lane. Okay. We don't have a map for this place, so that kind of sucks. Um... But maybe... Oh. Hey. Ooh. Yes. This is what we need. Give us a map. Resort area map. Okay, so... Fun fact. We now get to do the next part of our good ending plus uh, sequence. We're looking at the last stretch of the game. Not exactly, maybe the next to last, but um, what we want to do, like we have a bunch of places that we can check out. We're going to play around a little bit, but uh, we need to go to Annie's bar, which is not far from us actually. Um, but starting out, we're going to get over here and we're going to try to explore some areas see if we can like get some extra items because we're making we're doing good time uh we won't be able to finish today uh finish our first ending today unless like we really 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 push but we're not doing that because that's that's terrifying oh, hi there hi there buffy So we're just going to run around, he's going to try and catch us, and he's going to do a terrible job. Because while he is Buffy... <laughs> Assume the position, creep. <laughs> Ooh, I'm going to go to... Over here. <laughs> ah, crap. Okay, can't get in there. Fine, then I think we can just go straight to Annie's bar.
we're going to do a bit of running around. Oh gosh. Where is the entrance? I know you're around here somewhere. Monkey rotating looked like he was just going. Jeez, Harry, forgot your keys again. Cringe, bro. Oh no. Yeah, you get him, Michael. Are you okay? Yeah, I guess so. But I'm beat. I thought I was a goner there. So how'd it go? Did you find a way out? No, not yet. Damn it! About I you? missed the real monster. Zip. But it's too soon to give up. This craziness can't go on forever. Well, I assure the military you, military rescue squad should be here any time now. If they come through the town, we're home free. I hope so. I better get going. This isn't the time to stand around flapping our gums. Do you know a girl called Alessa? No. Wow. Okay. Uh... Thanks for the help, I guess. I dropped something over here. Hoffman must have dropped this. Looks like it's full of stuff. I've got a Kaufman key. I've got a receipt. All right, let's take a look at it. Ooh, we are hurting? When do we get so hurting? We're gonna fix that. Boop. All right. 0473 from general store thought to have been dropped by Kaufman that one says three now what oh this is Indian runner we were just there this would be a terrible place to put a random pool minigame and yet, I want it. We have the receipts! I feel like we have the receipts is uh, also the um, tagline for an Arby's call-out post. Thank you, I'll be here all night. At least for the next 30 minutes. Let's see. If I remember correctly, it should be right over here. Yeah, okay. Oh, you even sound like Munke. Yes! Okay, Lost Judgment is great. It is also probably one of the longest standard style Yakuza games. It is so big! also really good. Huh. Are these things pick upable? No. Toilet paper definitely not pick upable. Let's see. Health drink. Ooh, and a notebook. August 20th. He came by. I handed over the package that the woman left here. September 12th. He showed up at Norman's too. Don't want to be involved with the likes of them anymore, but... Getting creeped out even more than before. Thought of leaving town, but... 
I'm afraid of what'll happen if I do. Norman's grand opening. It's locked. Okay. Ooh, a drawer. A safe key. Well, that was easy. Okay, so what does this give us? What is this? Drugs? Okay, that's all we do. Three loaves of bread, three cartons of milk, two dozen eggs. Deliver the back door daily, 8 a.m. Rear entrance code is 0885. Ooh. No, 0886. Okay, Norman Young. Okay, so we have, we have some interesting stuff going on here. That's why they put the subtitles on there. Okay, so. I think this means. We can go to a motel because that's the only. Yeah, there's a motel just south of us, which is our next destination. I believe we can head left. That'll be south for us. Yeah, I don't know what format they would be. Maybe something bespoke. Uh, but I have no idea. Locked. Okay, looks like things are chill for the moment. Let's see, where, okay, that's two. Is that three or one? That is three, okay. Use the Kaufman key. Again, this section, completely and utterly optional but very necessary for what we need. Okay, nothing here. TM2s, which were bitmaps, but proprietary. Huh. Oh, hell yes. There's a crack. Something glints inside. The crack is too small to reach in. Okay. I don't think we have anything here. So, yeah. Proprietary was kind of my guess, and I'm kind of surprised that was remotely accurate. Um... Let's see. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Get back in there. <laughs> okay, there is... Lock is jammed. Dang. Trying to find a good head office. a keypad something because we have a code it says if I remember correctly
we had to go in through the quote unquote back way? Yes, it looks like there's a keypad there. But we need to be careful since there is monkey. Oh God. Hey, hey, rude. There we go. Whew. How much damage did that do to us? Hopefully not too much. Yeah, not much at all. <laughs> Dude just waits for you to punch in the numbers. <laughs> A poster is on the wall. Don't look at that now, though. What if I wanna? Good guy, Silent Hill monster. <laughs> like, this, like, okay, fine, you're busy, you're... You're, you've got something on your phone. You're checking your messages. Okay, fine. Uh, da, 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 okay. <laughs> Pulls out a fidget cube. It's the same date as the one in the hospital. Investigation stalled. PTV dealers still at large. Suspicious deaths continue. Like the anti-drug mayor, a narcotics officer dies of a sudden heart failure of unknown origin. Interesting. Radio's dead. Oh, hey, a safe room. Ah, uh, nice. Do we need cigarettes? Nope. Can't even get them. Guest register, nothing special is written here. Nothing special, nothing special. Fine. I personally think every object in this game is special. <laughs> Shit, maybe it is snowing fentanyl. <laughs> no, no, no. Sybil hasn't died. <laughs> okay. Do we pick up? Magnet, yes. If it was snowing fentanyl, there would be no cops at all of any kind whatsoever. It's their one weakness. That and criticism. It is a mystery. But, by the power of God, we can use the magnet to collect the key. A motorcycle key. Let's check it out. Key to an old motorcycle, which was dropped between the floorboards in the motel room. Do 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 do. I believe there was another door that we could go through in here. So we're going to check that out. Gently walk our way through. Kind of love these like quiet and creepy parts of the game. Like horrifying, terrifying. Kind of adore it. Oh. Hell yeah. It's like I've been sitting here for years. It's weird. The dust has wiped away just around the gas tank cap. Well, before we mess with that, we're going to pick up the shotgun shells. Oh. All right. How'd they fit a motorcycle between the floorboards? Don't worry about it. <laughs> Small glass vial wrapped in a plastic bag. What's this? It's like the busted vial I found in the director's office at the hospital. Hey, dude. Give me that. Now. What is this? That's none of your business. It kind of is now. Instead of messing with that, how about coming up with a way to get out of here? Maybe that's how I get out of here. You shouldn't be hanging around here goofing off. What do you think you're doing? You want to get yourself killed? Get out of here. Okay, take it easy. Unless you want to die, keep your mind on business. 
got it. Damn, dude. Man, was he pissed. And in such a rush, too. I guess I wasted my time. Better hurry. I'm worried about Cheryl. All right, so, uh, <laughs> that was strange. It's Nunya. Nunya? Nunya business. That is, in fact, the alcoholic hospital director. A real bastard. Okay, so... That is the end of this completely optional thing. Unrelated, I'm doing a survey from Crystal Dynamics about maybe making a new Legacy of Kane game. And one of the questions is what genre you'd like a new Elo Kane game to be. One of the options is turn-based RPG, and another is strategy. So looking forward to Legacy of Kane tactics. Man. I would love a new Legacy of Kane. I don't know if those are the genres I want, but kind of like with Nosgoth, I'll take what I can get. Take what I can get. It... Okay. So we're going to haul ass to the lighthouse, because that is now... Last option is visual novel. Hey, hey, hey. With the right art, that could be dope. Especially if they get a Amy Hennig back. And give her time to actually, like, write it out. Oh, man, Simon Templeman. Yeah. I mean, I kind of want them to reboot Legacy of Kane. I don't love the idea of rebooting it. But Simon Templeman would do it. One of these days, we'll play all the Legacy of Kane games, and it's going to be a terrible, wonderful time. Oh, our first time watching it. Yes. Not again. No, this time it feels different. Rather than shifting from reality to a nightmare, this is more like reality becoming a nightmare. I don't like this feeling like something bad will happen. No doubt, something terrible is going on. Alright. That's fun. Where are we? Okay. Those are all the good things that have been happening, right? Just, uh... It's a good, fun time all around. Okay. That is not a doorway we can go into. Yeah, that's going to be the thing that we're going to notice with uh, every Silent Hill we play. Understatement is just how these people operate. <laughs> Woo! Monkey! Monkey, 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 monkey! Let's see. Hard left. Hell yes. Okay. We are at the bridge. I think we might be able to make it to... Oh, turn around. Oh, hey, a boot. I love a boot. Let's be in. <laughs> Monkey. Let's see. Sybil. Oh. Harry. Hi, bastard. How did you get back here? I followed the sewer. Were you the one who cut the fence? I'm glad you made it. I was worried about you. You were worried? Where did you disappear to? Never mind. I want to know what's going on here. What is with this town? This may sound really off the wall, but listen to me. You've got to believe me. I haven't gone crazy. I'm not fooling around. At first, I thought I was losing my mind. 
now I know I'm not. It's not me. This whole town. It's being invaded by the other world. By a world of someone's nightmarish delusions come to life. Little by little, the invasion is spreading. Trying to swallow up everything in darkness. I think I'm finally beginning to understand what that lady was talking about. Harry, hold on a minute. I don't get it. Look, I don't understand it all myself. I guess I can't explain it. Well, what's making this happen? I don't know that either. But I do know Cheryl is there. Under whoever created this darkness. Cheryl is somewhere and she needs my help. This whole thing's been a major blow to you. You need to rest. Sybil, I... The demon is awakening, spreading those wings. Dahlia Gillespie. Was it not as I said? I see it all now. Yes, everything. Hungry for sacrifice, the demon will swallow up the land. I knew this day would come. And what's more, the task is almost finished. There's only two left. To seal this town to the abyss, the mark of Samael. When it is completed, all is lost. Even in daytime, darkness will cover the sun. The dead will walk and martyrs will burn in the fires of hell. Everyone will die. Don't sound too excited. So what am I supposed to do? I've got to save Cheryl. It is simple. Stop the demon. The demon, the demon taking that child's form. Stop it before your daughter becomes a sacrifice. Before it is too late. Stop it! Stop it! You stop it! What do I do? Go to the lighthouse on the lake. And to the center of the amusement park. Make haste. You are the only hope. Look, Harry. I really don't get what's going on. But if there's a chance we can save your daughter, I'm in. I'll check out the amusement park. You go to the lighthouse. Sybil, thanks. You will need to use it. Use what? The flowers. Only with that can you see Flowers? It. What about Sybil? Wow, all the women in his life just walk away as soon as he turns around. All right, we got a save point. I don't have too much time left in the stream, so we're going to. Just to double check, I'm not supposed to shoot your daughter when I find her, right? <laughs> I like how Sybil kept pushing Harry to chill and explain, and the moment she saw Dahlia, she was just like, I'm not even going to try. Okay, so this area, I think it's going to be a little nasty, but we should be able to get through it. Ow! Monkey! Monkey, 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 man. Wee! Okay, get... Yep, there you go. 
Let's get over here. Let's run. We're just going to keep running. Don't look back. Don't you ever look back. Rude. Where are we going? Where are we going? Ow! My dude. I do not... I'm just not that into you. Oh, God. Okay. Okay. Let's go up. Oh, not quite. Well, that wasn't it at all. Oh. Yes, yes, yes. Out. Okay. Our health is getting low, which is not great. But we're making it. Ah! Okay. It's assuming we have to go up every little ladder, every little staircase. And that is as lighthouse as it gets, isn't it? Oh, save point. How convenient. Ooh, we have plenty of health items, so we're going to let ourselves take a quick heal as we save. God, I love shots like this. I am such a sucker every time a game does this. Yeah, I keep being told the lighthouse is really good. Ooh. Hey, I know you. Wait. Damn, I was too late. Well. Messed that up. Oh, no. Come on. Come on, Harry. Yeah, lighthouses are a pretty common fixture in the series. Oh, God. Ow. Okay. <gasps> okay. So, let's see. And they let us just skip all of that ladder, all of that uh dock Sybil stuff. Come back. Crap. That creep's sure to show up at the amusement park pretty soon. Let me be on time. I'm going to save again because screw it. I don't want to take any chances. Should have dragged your axe along some of the markings on the ground. Scrape them up, break some circles. That kind of summoning, you got to have everything just right, you know? Nobody ever thinks about that. Uh, looks like... Oh, yeah. Looks like we just need to go... West. Choosing to believe that when he says that creep, he is referring to Sybil. <laughs> I mean, they're both creeps. Sybil seems like a nice person, but also a cop. So it's like, okay. Oh, wait. Was that it? Was that the opening? Yeah, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're going in here. Whoop. Could Sybil have gotten to the amusement park from here? Down we go. <laughs> Everyone's a funky little guy. And 
Yet another marker. There is a sewer map connecting to an amusement park. Take it? Uh, yeah. Okay, so, where are we on this map? We don't have a hell of a lot of time, but it looks fairly straightforward. Um... So we're just gonna haul ass. Let's flip the camera around. Wow, rude. I ain't done. Oh crap. I ain't done shit to y'all. Oh god. No! Okay. Oh, that's why. We ain't in the right place. Need to find an opening. Yes, okay. Oh, just some creepy statues hanging around. That's fine. Perfectly okay. Okay, now we just need to head north and then west. Oh gosh. That's a teddy bear. Oh, I hate that. Oh, I hate it. Not fun. But as long as we don't look behind us, we'll probably be okay, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. All right, all right. <laughs> oh, we get to end today's stream on something really nice. Okay, so there's no map here. Rude. I don't know what you are, but get away from me. I'm gonna be just running around kind of blindly in the dark for a second. Oh, we found a carousel. That's promising, I think. Oof. And here's where the camera has a little bit of a struggle. Okay, that's the ice cream shop. That's what we want to see. I think we need to get up there? I forget. Oh, don't talk to me. Oh, yes, here we go. That's not concerning. Hi there, how you doing? You doing good? Nice and healthy. Oh. Look good. Great, actually. Oh dear. Oh god, you really are a cop. Oh god, what do we do? Ow. Well, clearly we take a bullet. Uh, but, hey, guess what? Let's see. We can get up close enough to her. Oh, dang. Just blasted us. <laughs> okay. Sometimes it's better to run. Come on. Okay, so. Resident Evil. We're going to blast through this. We're going to make it fast. Because I want to finish this one little sequence before we stop for the day. Because that's, that's a bad thread to hang on. Oh, okay. Here we go.
Oh, that's unsettling. It's the eraser head baby. Sybil. Wake up. Snap out of it. Don't Sybil. be a little bitch. Harry. What happened? A lung sized eraser head baby Shh. just crawled out Don't of talk. you. I'll take care of you. <laughs> Shoot your goo, my dude. Oh, God. <laughs> Why did they take your daughter? Cult shit. Why her? Cult shit. I'm not sure myself. But it's most likely cult shit. But you know, Cheryl isn't my biological daughter. I actually haven't told her yet. She probably already knows anyway, though. We found her abandoned on the side of the highway. Nobody knew where she came from. We didn't have any kids of her own. My wife was sick. And it didn't look like she was getting any better. So we took Cheryl in. So in that case... There might be some connection between Cheryl and this town. So what do you do now? Cheryl is my daughter. I will save her no matter what. Oh, hey. On a scale of Harry Mason and John and Martha Kent, how much did you luck out with I your found over on Orphan? Oh, hey, it's Hold Alessa. Right there. I don't know who you are or what you're trying to do, and I don't care. Just one thing. Let Cheryl go. That's all I ask. What? <sighs> Some folks who wouldn't go through all this for their biological kids. Harry's pretty great. Where's Cheryl? Where is she? Alessa. This is the end of your little game. Mama? Could she be... You've been a ghastly little pest, haven't you, Alessa? I was no, read log. Thinking you couldn't escape from our spell. But Mommy didn't know how much you'd grown. That's why I couldn't catch you all by myself. But what a pity, yes? Now you're half indebted to this man for his help. Hey, what are you talking about? That's misandry. Alessa, my dear little girl, there is one thing left I need you to do for me. No! Get away from me! Bad girl.
That was a sound. Oh, hi, Lisa. You're looking great. Oh. No, you're still looking great, actually. Harry. Lisa. What happened? Where's Alessa and Dahlia? Harry, listen. Something you said before has been bothering me. I just can't get it out of my head. What is it, Lisa? Kylie Minogue. So I went to look in the basement. Even though I was scared as hell. Like you said, there were these creepy rooms. But nothing really unusual down there. But while I was down there, I got this weird feeling. Like I'd been there before. Like something happened there. But I can't quite remember somehow. What was it? Help me. I'm so scared. I can't take this. It's only a temporary thing. You're in shock from when you were knocked out. Don't fret about it. You'll remember after a while. No. You don't understand. Wait! Where do you think you're going? Lisa. Damn, what's that? That sound. Down there, it's coming from the basement. Alright. We are now in the final stretch of the game. Now, granted, we have a lot more that we're going to be doing. We're not going to do it today, because it's past 8 over here. And as you can see from the save file, um... We are officially in nowhere. This is quite literally the last stretch for this game. Um, so next time we are going to hit our first of five endings. Um, we are going to be doing good plus first, and then we are going to tackle um, the UFO ending. Because that's going to set us up for some, like, really good stuff later. Uh, but, like, yeah, I'm really excited. Uh, in just three episodes, we are getting uh, the end of Silent Hill 1, our first stretch. And the next runs are going to be at least a fair bit faster. There's a lot of stuff we don't have to do. We can beeline it. Uh, we don't have to worry as much about... Uh, getting every single item in the game or looking at every single little thing uh, So yeah it, I, It's gonna be a good time. So for now We're gonna stop Ivan Robin and Andrew Jack without a scene will continue to be so for the foreseeable future um, For those of you who are hanging out live uh, I, Jenny VTuber is playing some next best demos. So we're gonna be rating her here in a second Uh there are VODs available here for 60 days after initial airing, completely free. So be sure to catch up if you want. Um, yeah, we're working on two different goals for the month. Uh, 35 sub points for um, new emotes and 40 for Silent Hill 4. Let's see, what else? Um, you know what, let's just go ahead and call it there. I'll be back tomorrow with more of this with the end of Silent Hill 1 first playthrough. And, uh, yeah, that's it. Once again, uh, thank you all for coming. Get hydrated, get vaccinated, get masked up, be good, be safe, be awesome, and be gone. <gasps> bye, bye, bye.